I'll tell you, I absolutely love selling board games on Amazon. I also love selling them on eBay, but in this video, I want to be short and concise and share with you exactly what I keep in mind and consider when I'm buying board games from thrift stores, garage sales, auctions, from eBay to Amazon, to then flip on Amazon FBA, okay? So when it comes to board games, um, I love selling them. They sell very quick, they're in demand, they're nostalgic, um, and they're just a very, very popular item. And you know, the thing about board games is even the older ones sell really well. If you could find any of the older board games that are, you know, maybe even used, complete, uh, they have, you know, the manual, they have all the pieces, the box is in good shape, or um, some of the older ones, if you get brand new sealed, whoo -hoo, you are in for the money. My best board game pickup ever, I did believe, um, excuse me, I sold this on eBay. It was uh, the game Dark Tower. Woo I remember I picked that thing up with my buddy Tim Fisk for five bucks at a garage sale with him. I forgot what I sold it for, but it went for hundreds of dollars. So definitely be on the lookout for that board game. So I want to share with you about uh, five or six different things to keep in mind if you're thinking about selling board games on Amazon FBA. Now, there are some brands out there that are going to be restricted. So if you are restricted, definitely get ungated, you know, especially for the brands like Hasbro. There's just a lot of opportunities there. And if you need any help getting ungated, uh, feel free to send me a DM on Instagram at Rake and Profit. I can share with you some information and help you get ungated for free. So with that being said, let's get into this video. Okay, so the first thing to consider is rank. When you're scanning an item on Amazon, you wanna take a, the, take a look at the rank because that's the first thing you're gonna see that's gonna give you somewhat of an indicator of how fast the item sells. In general, I like to buy board games, whether they're used or new, um, 300,000 rank or less. Now I will go up to 400,000 rank, but it just becomes a bit slower of a seller. I would say my sweet spot are board games that are between 100 and 250,000 rank. That's really where I feel like they turn over, they flip really nicely, um, and that's just where I like to hang out in terms of sales rank. Now, of course, I like to look at monthly sales as well. Five to 10 monthly sales is definitely solid depending on how many competitors there are. So that's where I kind of like to hang out. You could go up to 500, 600,000 rank, they're just gonna sit forever. And especially with like the new rules and uh, storage fees, and now on January 17th, the cost to be able to dispose items is gonna be doubling, restock limits. I just don't like to go up that high in rank. Again, you can play that game, you can try it out, but just know the risk is much higher. And unless there's just an insane amount of profit or you know this item flips like once a year, then go for it. But for me, really, you know, 100 to 250,000, upwards to 300, maybe 400,000 is where I like to hang out. Now, should you sell used or new board games? I sell both. The thing is, if you're gonna sell board games used, on Amazon, you have to sell them under the collectible condition. Don't ask me why, it's just what they require for some reason. Um, I like new a lot better because it just seems like it goes for a higher prime bump and uh, it just seems like it's in more demand because I think some people are concerned about buying a board game and possibly pieces being missing, okay? So I like to go after the new board games. When I walk into a thrift store or I go to an auction or a flea market, I am looking for those board games that are brand new sealed. Now keep in mind, if the item is sealed, but it has a dent in it, or it's kind of smashed up, or it's really ripping severely, you're gonna to have to sell that as you know used, very good, like new. You're not gonna be able to sell it as new on Amazon if it has issues. You know, this is an eBay where you can say new with defects. On Amazon, it's gotta be brand new, you know, 99% perfect, or you're gonna to have to sell it as used. Now, I wanna mention as well, I, um, I have a guide that I created. It's called uh, Board Game Profits. Some of you guys might have seen it. I share 97 board games that you could be on the lookout for. If you wanna get that 100% free, there's two ways you could do it. Either one, if you're already in the Reselling Freedom program that I created, which helps people to build a six-figure Amazon business, if you get in there, I'm actually gonna put the board game's profit um, guide in there. It's a $37 guide. It'll be 100% free. If you're not a part of it, definitely check out Reselling Freedom. I'll put a link down below. It's only $27 a month to join and you'll get grandfathered in for life. And that price is eventually going to go up to $97 a month because you're going to have access to a million dollars worth of Amazon sellers, uh, 10 Amazon sellers, weekly coaching, eBooks, resources, guides, training courses, a bunch of stuff that I'm building out. So if you want that and you're wondering like, where do I start? 
definitely start there. If you're in reselling freedom, check inside the membership site, you will get that. Now, in terms of you know minimum profit, I like to stick with at least a seven to eight dollar minimum profit when I'm dealing with board games, just because a lot of times they are bigger. Um, the storage fees could be a little more expensive. It might be a little more expensive to ship it in, even though it's probably only gonna cost like 50 cents to a dollar to ship it to Amazon. But if, if it is a bigger, longer, uh, just larger board game, it could be considered oversized, which means the fees are gonna be a bit higher um, when you ship it in, when you sell it, to store it, so on and so forth. So keep that in mind. I typically like at least a seven to eight dollar minimum profit and if i'm dealing with like a big you know like for example i sold a, a scenic game recently i'm not sure if it was oversized but it, it was a big game and uh i just want to have i don't know for me i like dealing with the smaller items if i'm going to deal with a bigger item it's just more of a hassle can't fit as many items in the box i want at least a seven to an eight dollar minimum profit okay now if you're trying to figure out what board games you can sell again you could check out board game profits it's 37 bucks or just join reselling freedom and get it for free um or what you can do is go to ebay soul listings and go to uh, the search, type in board games, go to sold listings, and then filter board games that are selling for at least 30 to 50 bucks. Uh, you can you know, filter used or new, and then just create a whole list of all the items that are selling for that much. And you don't have to like remember every single one, but just research to just get an idea of like, oh, okay, the Senates do well. Oh, the wrist game, games do well. Oh, fire, uh, what's that one called? Fireball or whatever, I forget what it's called. Uh, I've sold it one time. I don't know, it's a vintage game, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, Dark Tower, right? There's obviously, there's a lot of rare games that you're probably never gonna come across, like Dark Tower, like good luck. Um, but there's, you know, maybe there's like the, the Pokemon game, right? Um, that Pokemon, the, the black one, that uh, it's kind of like a longer, that thing does really, really well. But there's like literally hundreds, I don't know if there's thousands, but there's hundreds of profitable board games. You wanna get acquainted with them. Go to the sold listing, search, and then go look them up on Amazon. You can even pick these. I buy a lot of board games off of eBay to flip it on Amazon. So if you wanna learn how to do that as well, I'll put a link to my webinar down below for that. But there's so many opportunities. I love board games. They are you know profitable, they're in demand. I love selling new board games. You could also sell used. There's a really big market for used board games. I just don't deal with them a ton because I do a lot of eBay to Amazon flips. And when I'm at a thrift store, I don't wanna be pulling the board games out and counting all the pieces, so on and so forth. So hopefully this video helps and gives you a little bit of a uh, you know head start to the game. If you're looking to flip board games, go get ungated, start selling some of these items, start listing them, start shipping them in. I'm telling you, the profits are gonna come. So with that being said, hopefully I'll see you all inside of Reselling Freedom. Much love and make sure to go out there, keep on picking, don't give up, take today and build upon it. And I promise you, you will be extremely happy with where you end up in the next 30, 60, 90 days. Let's have an amazing year. Much love, smash that like button and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.